On today's video, I'm going to show you how I inject and trim brisket. Alright, so what we got here is a pack of brisket. I'm going to do a light trim on it and then show you guys how I mix and inject my briskets. And if you guys haven't seen how I sharpen knives, I check that video out up here. Like I said, we're not going to do too much trimming on it. Knock out this big old kernel fat. Probably just clean up this top just a little bit. And how I do that is I, I lift my hand up. If you can see that, I put my hand under there and lift it up. And then boom. Get it right off. Just stick your hands up under there. If you gouge in a little bit, don't worry about it. You're not taking much. Now in competition, I would clean all this off. And I would actually do it just like that right there. Down to the meat. But for backyard, I don't worry about that. Flip it over. There's another big hunk of fat right over here. And I just make little cuts until I get to where I need. Right here is the main part on the back side. And you can see it down the side. Like I said, I'm not gonna get crazy. And if you're doing chopped brisket, I'd definitely leave more of this on. I chopped that fat up in there and it's great. There's a piece of silver skin usually right in here that I like to take off, me personally. <clears throat> you can see it right there. See how it's tugging? I take that off. It's just a slimy, nasty piece. Then I'll even it out right here. This part of the meat right here has enough fat in it already so you can afford to take off a little bit more and just kind of you know make it symmetrical I try to avoid sharp edges and I save these always save these pieces for your grind that's gonna be about it right there I'm not gonna do too much more to it I may jump on this top just a little bit more that's really about it so we'll get this thing put over in this pan I always inject in a pan and you'll see why here in a minute so uh, I'm gonna get this cutting board moved to the side. Hey, here's a quick tip for you guys. Under your cutting board, get you a couple napkins or a couple paper towels and just lightly wet them. Put them up under there and then hold your cutting board to the surface. So for this injection, I have a third of a cup of reserve blend to one tablespoon of moisture magic. Now here's the deal. To keep the moisture magic from rocking up because that's what it does is it grabs water. I mixed them as a powder already in the mixer. So I took the third of a cup of reserve blend, put it in my mixer and then took the moisture magic, dumped it on top and mixed them up. Now I'll go ahead and add the liquid. So I have two cups of reverse osmosis water. And if you don't have reverse osmosis water, use distilled. Put your little shaker on, your little, your little grate, loosen it. That's the great thing about Cosmos. The only one on the market that mixes in seconds. There's no clumping, no caking, it's done. All right. So how I inject, I inject all four ways. Some people say with the grain, some people say against the grain. I don't care how you do it. The main thing is, is you want to get it even. With the grain or against the grain. When you go with the grain, it, it will actually shoot all the way down a tube. And this is a lot of people that go, you never inject against the grain. If you look at their brisket, they'll have rings in there. And that's exactly why, because they're just shooting down the tube. When you come across the tube and you're pulling out, it's, it'll actually shoot both directions. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I go all four ways. So when you cut into this, it looks exactly the same. You do what you want to do though. And all you keyboard cooks is what you keep to yourself right here. A lot of people don't know these, but these plungers actually have tensioners in them. And if you'll grab this right here, and you can loosen or tighten this end and you can feel it inside the glass. 
A lot of people don't know that. I get a lot of emails like that. My plunger's broke. No, it's not. And I have it set at five cc's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start over here and I always cover and about every one inch, I inject five cc's as I'm pulling the needle out. I always cover my injection with my hand because if it shoots out, <laughs> it goes everywhere. And if you notice, I'm focusing my efforts on the flat, not the point. If I have enough, I'll shoot some in the point. The point has so much fat in it and so much flavor. So now I'm gonna go the other direction. And uh, you guys probably don't wanna see all this, so I'll catch up with you second I'm done. We'll go ahead and get this thing wiped down and get it rubbed. All right, so after you got it injected, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all down. You wanna get all that off of there. And I'll actually, there's a little bit in the bottom and I'll kind of put a paper towel, just bury it right down in there and then lift the pan up and run all the, all the extra injection over that way. You can pull it out of there and re-inject it if you want, but once they get blowed up, they're just blown up. They just can't take anymore once they get to that point. And that's what you want, that's good. So for this brisket, we're gonna go down cow cover, hot, and Texas beef. I'll flip this thing over and I'm gonna get it good too. This cow cover hot, it, but I can't believe we didn't think of this long ago. Just kind of lightly press it in there. Don't, don't, don't lean on it too hard. Salt, pepper, garlic for all you keyboard cooks that only believe in salt and pepper on a brisket. There you go. Well, hey guys, that's how I inject and trim my brisket. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Because next, we're gonna be cooking it.